Hello everyone, myself Manju Sharma from Suresh Kanbiar University, Jagat Pura, Jaipur. The department is School of Agriculture. Today we are going to discuss about diseases of citrus. So let's start. Diseases of citrus. Introduction. Basically, attacked by more than 150 diseases on citrus. So, disease caused by phytophthora reduces the yield loss up to 46% at global level. Among fungal diseases, soil borne disease is widespread. First disease is the gamosis. The causal organism is Phytophthora palmivora, Phytophthora citrophthora, and Phytophthora parasitica. Their economic importance Gumosis is widespread in Punjab and Assam. Lemons are more susceptible than grapefruit and rough lemons. In South India, it is common in sweet orange. Gamosis, brown road gamosis, collar road, brown road, trunk road, and fruit road are the terms used more or less for the same disease. Symptoms are like diseases usually occurs in high rainfall areas. The symptoms appear as yellowing of leaves followed by cracking of bark and profuse gum wound on the surface of the infected bark. The main source of infection is infected planting material. As a result of severe gumming, the bark becomes completely rotten and the tree dries owing to gridling effect. Droplets of gum trickle down the stem and give a concipicus brown color Staining along with hardened masses of gum. Then the diseased bark shows longitudinal cracks, completely rot and die before the fruits mature. Prior to death, the plant usually blossoms heavily and dies before the fruit mature. In such cases, the disease is called fruit rot or collar rot. These are the symptoms of the disease or gamosis disease. Mode of survival. Fungi survives on fallen fruits, twigs, leaves and in cracks of the trees. They are spread by irrigation water, rain splash, wind and insects. Favorable conditions like prolonged Direct con contact of trunk with water as in flood irrigation and water logging predisposes trees to disease. Incidence is more in black soil than in light soils. High water table leads to high incidence. Then the disease is severe in high rainfall areas. Then Low budded grafts are mostly affected. Their management, like proper drainage facilities, are to be provided. Avoid excess irrigation. Injuries to the plants should be avoided. Avoid continuous contact of trunk with water by adopting system. Then the diseased leaves and fruit should be collected and burnt. Diseased portions should be removed along with a little healthy tissue and painted with bordex paste. Healthy trees may be painted with bordex mixture up to high of height of 50 to 70 cm above the ground level. Use of resistant root stock like citrus, orangeum that is sure orange and pond citrus trifoliate. Spray with bordex mixture 0.1% or tin sulfate or dye folatin 
0.3% or metal exyl mancozeb 0.2%. So there is the drenching the soil around the base with bordex mixture 0.1% or faucetile pits may be dusted with a mixture of zinc sulfate, copper sulfate and quick lime in 5 ratio 1 ratio 4 just before the planting. The next disease is the diplodia gamosis. The causal organism is diplodia natalensis. It affects sweet, orange and mandarin. Economic importance like occurs commonly in Andhra Pradesh, Tamil Nadu and Uttar Pradesh. It is common on Sadguri and Batavian oranges, mandarians and lemons in AP and Tamil Nadu. Symptoms are gum oses out from one or two near forks, bigger limbs at certain seasons, bark become black and kill, then the wood become brown and break at the infected point. The unchecked trees may be killed in course of time. So basically these are the symptoms of the disease. Apid myelosy like reduced tree vigor, insect damage, then poor nutrition in all these trees Ethylene treatment is found to enhance diplodia, gamosis, and mode of spread like throat airborne conidia. So these all factors are available and those conditions are favorable according to the pathogen or these uh, condition will be there. In that case the pathogen which can easily cause the disease. management. Improve the tree vigor by proper nutrition wound in the bark and gum portions especially on limbs and forks should be scrapped and protected with bordex paste. Spraying carbondazim 0.1% on limbs and forks of affected and also on healthy trees. The next disease is the dry root rot disease. The causal organism of dry root rot is Fusarium solani. Economic importance, dry root rot is a major problem in all citrus growing areas in Andhra Pradesh in both sweet orange and acid lime. It is also common in north airport district in Tamil Nadu and in Mandarians in Vainar. Symptoms are affected trees blossoms, profusely bear a heavy crop of small sized uh, fruits then disease is characterized by sudden loss of turgidity, yellowing and whitening of leaves. Next, the infected plants do not recover even when water. Moist decay of root bark in the early stages which later becomes dry and shredded with hard dead wood underneath. Survival and spread. Primary survival like clay mido spores in soil and secondary macro and micro conidia throughout irrigation water and implements. Favorable conditions like lack of sufficient soil moisture, poor aeration in defective soils, with hard pain, 
below leading to unfavorable soil air moisture relationship in the subsoil then nitrogen and other nutrient deficiency if these all conditions will be found there in that case the pathogen will be very active and it will be easily cause the disease in the plant dear management select soils of sufficient depth and without hard pain below select healthy grafts and seedlings for raising new orchards avoid deep plugging or digging which are likely to injure root then maintain vigor of plant correct nutrient and moisture deficiencies leaf mulch in the tree basins during the dry season help in conserving soil moisture and thereby reducing disease incidence then drench the soil with carbondazim 0.25% of bordex mixture at the rate of 1 liter per of the tree basin in the early stage of infection apply trichoderma viride multiplied in 10 kg of neem cake per tree annually the next disease is the ganoderma root rot disease the causal organism is ganoderma lucidum the symptoms are whitish strand of fungal growth initially spread along the surface of the bark of the lateral roots infection then spread to crown roots and to the main trunk meanwhile the white strand will turn black then affected woody tissues become soft decompose and discolor then the aerial parts start drying then woody bract like fructu- uh, fructification develops at the base of the trunk so these are the symptoms of the disease uh, basically whenever we will cut the section then it will be looks like that and uh, these are the symptoms of the disease that is ganoderma root rot disease apid myelosy of the disease like water logging during the severe rains and low soil moisture during the summer if both the conditions are found then the pathogen will be active and then it will be cause the disease mode of spread is spread through the contacting roots of adjusting trees management grow and incorporate green manure in the soil infected trees may be isolated by digging a trench of 30 cm wide and 60 to 90 cm deep around the tree at a distance of 2.5 uh, to 3 m from the base to prevent the root contact then dead stump and bracket brackets may be collected and destroyed then tree basin may be drenched with carbondazim 0.05% soil may be mixed with sulfur 0.5 to 1 kg per tree after removing the affected trees and the disease is the anthracnose disease the causal organism is polytrichum gliosporidios the symptoms are like attack 
all parts of plant leaves spores have dark brown margin and gray center with the numerous black dots and arranged in concentric rings so basically these are the symptoms on the leaves in anthracnose disease which goes by the colletotrichum gliosporidius twigs branches begin to wither from the tip of downward black dot like acerbuli are seen in large number of dead twigs symptoms on the fruits dark brown to black color sudden circular spots with pink color spots messes uh, representing acerbuli under humid condition so these are the uh, symptoms on the fruit basically the fruit which becomes uh, like blackish in color epidemiology like deficiency of nitrogen and favorable soil condition malta orange and gray fruit suffer more then mode of survival fungus survive in the dead twigs and branches spread throughout airborne spores air management like dry twigs should be run cut and should be painted with borax paste then proper irrigation and manuring with urea 100 g per 10 l water solution then improving the drainage periodical spray with 1% or ferpum or ginab or captain 0.2% management like dry twigs should be prun cut and should be painted with bordex paste then proper irrigation and manuring with urea it should be 100 g per 10 l water solution improved drainage then periodical spray with 1% or ferbum or ginab or captain 0.2% and prune the trees and apply the carbondazim 0.1% after the pruning the next disease is the powdery mildew disease powdery mildew disease the causal organism is oidium tingitanium symptoms are like all aerial parts are covered with white powdery patches of fungal growth then affected leaves show yellowing wrinkling and drop off prematurely severe affects fruits also drop off so here the symptoms of the powdery mildew disease on the leaves and basically the powdery mildew disease symptoms which uh, will be appear on the all the aerial parts of the plant so there is the powder like appearance will be there that's why it is called powdery mildew disease their epidemiology like damp mornings with few hours of sunshine usually occurs from october to march and in higher evolution and higher elevations serious in mandarian lemon and sweet orange then mode of survival survive in the infected plant debris and dead twigs then spread throughout the airborne conidium
peer management that regular monitoring of orchards after summer rainwater shoots should be prone to reduce the infection then affected plant parts must be removed and destroy a spray of vegetable powder a spray of vegetable sulfur 0.2% at end 8 days interval a spray of vegetable sulfur 0.2% at 8 days interval and or tried more 0.1% or carbondazim 0.1% The next disease is the bacterial canker and bark eruption. The next disease is the bacterial canker and bark eruption. The causal organism is Genthomonas compestris and Genthomonas exenocordis. Economic importance in India, citrus canker is endemic and occur all the citrus growing areas it is reported from punjab tamil nadu andhra pradesh karnataka rajasthan madhya pradesh assam and uttar pradesh so acid lime is highly susceptible for other citrus fruits total destruction of citrus fruit was done for eradication of canker in florida florida state of usa then the bacterial canker symptoms noticed on the leaves twigs thorns and fruits seedlings badly cankered leaf shed and cause grinding of stems and ultimately lead to death of seedlings then the leaves initially small watery translucent raised spore of yellow color appear on the upper surface then the mature spores become whitish and grayish rough hard corky and crater like with a yellow hello severe spotting resulting in defoliation basically these are the symptoms on the leaves and on the stem the spots will be like that and the symptoms on the stem will be like that twigs 
similar lesions produced on the twigs and branches lead to the dieback fruits quater like cankerous spot without yellow halo present on the infected fruits juice contained on the infected fruit is reduced market value of the fruit is also reduced roots rarely grab fruit roots exposed above ground surface show the cankerous growth so basically these are the symptoms on the fruit and leaf then the next uh, is the bark eruption symptoms are like raised brown and corky eruptions of various sizes and circle the entire stem of the seedling and trunk the limb on the bark eruption disease symptoms raised brown and corky eruptions of various sizes and circle the entire stem of the seedlings and trunk and limb of the diseases so there is and circle the entire stem of the seedling and trunk and limbs of the trees eruptions crack vertically and horizontally forming roughly eruptions crack vertically and horizontally forming roughly rectangular platelets so in severe case gum may ose out from the twigs and tree declines mode of spread and epidemiology mode of spread like survive in cankerous leaves twigs and branches and epidemiology sir mode of spread like survive in cankerous leaves twigs and branches then spread by wind splash drain then injury caused by the leaf miner and paves the way for the entry epidemiology like temperature between 20 to 35 degrees centigrade with evenly distributed rain then serious in acid lime and serious lemon and grapefruit disease free seedling should be used dear management like fallen canker leaves and twig should be collected and burned disease free seedling should be used disease free seedling should be used young seedling should be spread in new orchard with bordex mixture 1% before planting or with uh, copper oxychloride 0.3% and 3% so your 
young seedling should be spread in new or cards with bordex mixture 1% before planting or and with the streptocycline 100 ppm at monthly intervals in order or cards affected plant parts should be pruned and spread with bordex mixture 1% at periodical infected then maintain the vigor of the tree with proper manuring and fertilizer application periodical spray of streptu Then maintain the vigor of the tree with proper manuring and fertilizer application, periodical spraying of streptocycline plus copper oxychloride. So there is the periodical spraying of streptocycline 1 gram plus copper oxychloride 30 gram in 10 liters of water at fortnightly uh, interval of copper. Then use canker tolerant varieties like channel selection and balaji and control leaf minor when young flush is produced. Spray with streptomycin sulfate 500-2200 ppm Spray with streptomycin sulfate 500-2000 ppm at 15 days interval, spray of neem cake infestation once or twice in a year, then control measures develop in Japan include wind breakers of tree or knitting. Then efficiency of wind breakers in reducing the disease spread has been proved in Argentina. Then the quick decline citrus trasigera virus that is also known as CTV. So it is caused by a phloem limited 2000 nanometer zygote. Then it is caused by phloem limited 2000 nanometer long filamentous virus, plaxious filamentous virion belonging to the cluster virus group with positive SSRNA, their economic importance. So, this disease was first reported in disease. So, uh, this disease was first reported in India in citrus orantifolia and citrus sinensis from Italy and Florida in the USA. In India, Trasteja is prevalent in Assam, Madhya Pradesh. So it will be prevalent in Andhra Pradesh, Tamil Nadu, Karnataka, Madhya Pradesh, Maharashtra, Punjab, Bihar, West Bengal and Sikkim.
then rest is a symptom consisting of a quick or chronic tree decline are particularly common and severe on trees propagated on sure orange root stock the name tristeja was suggested to describe the sad appearance of the diseased citrus trees then then kagji lime and nasnaran are indicated plants for ctv detection their symptoms rust is affected trees look chlorotic and stickly in the early stages gradually the leaves drop and the defoliated twigs show die back and decline so that declining trees die gradually but sometimes apparently healthy trees die suddenly when clearing and when flecking elongated translucent area then the symptoms are like characteristic stem pitting are formed on infected trees in sweet orange the specific symptom or tristeja is honey combing a fine pitting of inner face or bark in the portion of the trunk below the bud union in acid lime wormy form or linear pits appear in the woody cylinder tristeja infected citrus trees on sure orange root stock cause phloem necrosis at the time of so the disease trees usually blossom heavily trees with the stem pitting and stern and set less fruits so the fruits are of smaller smaller size and of poor quality that is insipid fruit as the fruit develop the tree bears partially or completely so grape fruit and acid lime are susceptible irrespective of root stock then west indian lime that is citrus oranthifolia is the most powerful to do good so the grape fruit and acid lime are susceptible irrespective of root stock west indian lime that is citrus orantifolia is the most powerful tool to detect the virus so basically these are the symptoms in first diagram that is ctv induced quick decline of sweet orange and in another one that is ctv ctv induced mosambi leaves showing chlorosis of mid veins and lateral veins and leaf yellowing here ctv induced decline mosambi plant completely the plant is completely dry and now it will be dead then leaf crumping in acid lime and here the black and brown effect vector of ctv there is the vein clearing in mexican mode of spread and survival transmitted by mechanical inoculation in a non persistent manner and usually by infected bud wood under field condition it is transmitted by black citrus and aphid vector toxoptera citricidals 
and also transmitted by duodenal cuspida reflex the apid myelosy like disease is endemic and cause damage to mendelian and presence of abundant insect vector so this is the vector which will be transmit the disease management strict quarantine measures to be enforced use certified bird board free of ctv to prevent primary spread of disease then remove all disease trees as as the when the disease is noticed fresh planting to be taken with virus free material on tolerant rock root stocks for sweet orange and mandarin avoid susceptible root stock for andhra pradesh maharashtra and karnataka rangapur lime is recommended as a root stock resistant to tristeza for the punjab region jitti khatti leoptera mandarin and sweet orange are recommended as resistant root stocks for acid lime use seedling pre immunized with mild strain of tristeza virus that is cross protection and periodic sprays of insecticides like dimethotate or methyl dimethone at 2 ml per liter to reduce the secondary spread of the disease in the orchards so uh, the next disease is the greening or hemoglobin disease that is also known as hlb and the causal organism is candidatus librobacter acetaticus that is fasted with phloem limited bacterium and obligate gram negative bacteria these are the symptoms of the disease basically the color of the leaves which will be changed and there is the chlorosis so this is all about the diseases of citrus and their management thank you